New York native Jackie Romeo brought down the house on this season of The Voice. Her rendition of Miley Cyrus's Flowers mm -hmm. woo, had heads and chairs spinning. That's right. So I recently met up with Jackie to talk about this exciting moment in her life and how she uses fitness as an outlet. Okay, so congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> it's got to be so exciting. Talk me through what it was like to go out on that stage. They're facing away from you and you this is your moment. It was so cool. Like, uh, I just remember being so nervous. Like, they tell you, like, as soon as you walk to the X, like, the music just starts, whether you're ready or not. So okay. <laughs> I, I walked, like, so super slow so I could just take my time. And then oh I, I start singing the song. And when I open my eyes, John Legend was already turned oh, around. I didn't want to The second that he turned around, immediate come, confidence. I sing some more, and Dan and Shay also turned around. And it was just like the absolute most coolest, life-changing dream come true ever. And you talk about that confidence, and that was one of the things that, that John Legend mentioned, is like in the beginning, you seemed a little bit nervous, and then he just like kind of heard your vibrato and you came to life. So what was it like kind of being feeling powerful in that moment? It was, I think, the reassurance of him turning around was like, okay, I'm on the show, like, he sees something in me, so I'm gonna show him, like, he turned around for a reason. I know you got a scholarship for college, but you decided to put it off so you could take yeah. this voice journey. What was that risk like? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so <laughs> scary. I I talked about it with my mom. I kept I kept contemplating it every day because it was it was my dream school. So after actually getting a chair turn, I was like I could always go back to school. And so I was like I think I just have to take this opportunity and see what happens. So now talk to me a little bit about the reaction from the community and then from people that you don't know. The reaction from the community in Long Island was insane. So many people I didn't know commenting on it being like, our Massapequa girl, yes. like just supporting me because I'm from Long Island. And like everyone in the community is so insanely supportive, just posting about it story mentions and just like commenting and sharing love. It's super cool. And then there's some other people out there as well and other voices. So how do you handle that? Because I know it's hard for me and I've been doing this for a very long time yeah. and people can be pretty rotten. Oh, absolutely. I think I have a lot of experience with it because I first started posting online when I was 14 and I would do these singing videos and I would get a lot of hate comments online about like my physical appearance. And so, I mean, when I was when I was younger, I really took that to heart. And I was like, oh my God, like maybe there's something wrong with me. But when I get those comments now, I look at it from a place of like, it, it's their opinion. They could think what they want, but it, I never like really internalize any of it. And now you have a new song where you're, you know, really owning your power yeah. and hopefully inspiring some other people. So talk to me about this. The song is just about being able, it, it's, it's essentially going from that place of feeling so low and questioning your worth and then just like realizing the freedom of just like putting your phone down, looking internally and just like not depending on what everybody else has to say about you, knowing that you're okay and you're beautiful and you're strong just as you are because what really matters is what the people around you who love you have to say about you. And I know before you even started on this voice journey, you were able to work with Debbie Gibson, who yeah. was like a Long Island pop royalty. Yeah. So what was that like? And and also when you listen to that song, there, there seems to be so much emotion in that. Oh, absolutely. Um, working with Debbie Gibson has been an absolute dream come true. She's like the nicest person in the world. And she, she really, really cares. And she gave me the opportunity to sing a song that she wrote for me on her tour. And it was also about this kind of like comparison that you have like especially in middle school and high school just like comparing yourself to like all these other popular beautiful people and thinking like maybe they don't have any problems but it the realization is that they they themselves have a lot of problems and they think the same things you think everybody is like am I good enough am I worthy enough no matter what they look like 
So what was your message to everybody out there, you know, who, who's struggling with those kind of feelings, whether they be in middle school or a middle-aged mom? <laughs> yeah, I would say the, at the end of the day, comparing yourself to other people is what's going to get you into that tricky situation. I feel like it's one thing to compare yourself to other people and feel insecure and get upset, but at the end of the day, I feel like we're all just trying to like accomplish our goals and our dreams and every single person feels self-doubt or insecurity at one point or the other. So it's just like realizing that the outside opinions of other people just hold no weight. Nothing else matters. Hey, Jackie. All right, so we're here at Salty Fit, right? So talk to me a little bit about what goes on in here. This is the gym I go to. It's so much fun. There's like a bunch of classes that go on. There's Zumba and kickboxing. And kickboxing is my favorite class. And I, I go here with my mom a lot. And I think it's just a super fun way to like get out a bunch of energy and just bond. Like it's such a female based gym. So like bonding with other women. And you got to actually work out to your own song. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. We worked out to my song and they listened to it before it was released. So it was so much fun to just like get their opinions on it. But also they were like, wow, this is such a fun song to work out to. Yes. The winner of this battle is Jackie. Jackie, congratulations. So you are team legend, and how does that feel? I mean, that is an amazingly talented man. Thank you. <laughs> team legend is insane. I've been looking up to John Legend ever since I was 10 years old. All of Me was like the first song I ever heard on the radio, and I remember listening to that and being like, I want to write music exactly like this. Like, he introduced me to the pop soul genre, and for him to turn around and have me on his team, especially because he, he's such a talented musician with a picky ear. Like for him to turn around for me, I was like, it, this, this means something. And, and that's why it gives me so much confidence. You killed it. Thank perfect, you. perfect. She can sing anything. She's so precise. I love Jackie's voice. 